Welcome to our weekly credit chat that we have every single Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I am super excited because we're talking about the holidays. We're talking about the madness that goes on, right, Jalisa, yeah. during the holidays as we're out and about doing our shopping. We see all these amazing deals. I was just out at Walmart this last week and saw like all this stuff going on, all these re really great deals going on. And so we thought it'd be a great time to chat with you about ways to save money, ways to deal with, you know, the holiday stress, the gift buying, and everything that goes along with that. And for those that don't know, uh, we are joined by Jalisa Ann. Uh, Jalisa is the founder of MyMoneyMogul.com. And I thought before we get started, can you share with our community here on Periscope, here on YouTube Live and Facebook Live, a little bit about yourself? your website, how you got started, and the work that you're doing. Oh, yes, absolutely. So um, my name is Jaleesa Ann, and uh, as he said, I'm the founder of My Money Mogul. So I help um, women take control of their finances and learn how to use money as a tool to live the life that they love. And I kind of got started because I was laid off from my corporate job. Um, and after being laid off, I realized that you know, I myself was one paycheck away from homelessness um, because I was just completely spending my money um, frivolously. Like I had no plan, no view of the future. So I decided to kind of um, change that. And when I went back to corporate America, I went back with a new mindset that I was going to stop the paycheck to paycheck living and begin putting away money, paying off debt. So I paid off about $40,000 in debt, of debt and um, raised my credit score to 720. So uh, that's how I got started. Decided to teach other people how to do the same. That is awesome. That is awesome. What an amazing story. Again, for those that want to learn more about Jaleesa, make sure to check out mymoneymogul.com. If you're joined here on Periscope, if you have any questions for Jaleesa, please feel free to post your questions here or on Facebook Live. Um, and also, we just have Shannon McNay, who is our co-host. She just joined in. What's up, Shannon? How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Doing good. So today, we're talking about the holidays, the shopping, and last-minute holiday tips uh, to save money and just kind of deal with, uh, you know, the craziness that goes on. And I've been, you know, seems like every single time I stop into a Walmart or a Target with the kids, the lines are getting longer and longer. I don't, <laughs> and so, and, and there's a lot of great deals going on. In fact, I want to share, so before we get started, I wanted to share this really interesting thing. So my wife, Jaleesa and Shannon, is like really frugal. She's like the one who manages our money and, you know, is always like, Mike, where's the receipts? I want to see the receipts, you know, and I get in trouble if I don't have the receipts. Well, so she's always, before we hit the store, she always looks online, right, to kind of see like, what are the best prices for items before we go into Target or Walmart? Well, so she was looking on the Target app and found that there was this particular like Lego set that was for somebody that she was like, oh, this would be perfect for them. It was like 45% off. So she's like, let's go get this at Target. So then we run down to the store and the price within the app changed. Like literally right when we got to the store, the price changed. And she was like, what? She's like, no, 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 the price was this, and now it says this. And so we went over to the uh, the guest uh, area, customer service area, waited in line, and my wife was like, no, 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 I saw this price. It was on, it was on this app. This is the reason why I came to the store. And she was like, yeah, sometimes they're telling us that sometimes the app will change based on location. Wow. Because when you're at home, you're not in the store, so it would give you like a better deal. You know, but the moment you get in the store, sometimes the price will change. So the tip here was that screenshot it, mm -hmm. screenshot the deal on your mobile device so you have it there, and then um, and then also if you sometimes the recommendation was if you surf on a different browser, like go on Google Chrome or Safari on your phone, you could pull up that price on the Target website which will be different from the app. So anyways, there's like all these things you can do to like kind of get better pricing. But I was kind of like, I was like, well, oh, that's kind of interesting to see how the pricing changes based on your location. Yeah. That's messed up. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that either. We just encountered it. My wife was like really frustrated by that because she was like, she's like, no, no, it was, I swear I saw it on my phone. And then I've got the screenshot of it and showed Target. And they're like, oh, yeah, this is cool. This works. <laughs> Travel sites are like similar in that like once they show you a, like a low price, like they won't show you anything lower. So you have to like clear your cookies or try a different browser. It's the same oh, thing. Yeah. So yeah, you have to like, they, they, they know they've shown you like this certain price. They'll never go below that. Okay. That's, that's, that's interesting. And how do you, I don't even know like how to clear cookies on a mobile device. Do you know how to do that? Shannon? Oh, on a mobile? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> settings. And if you go to like the settings for Safari, It'll say like clear history and cookies. Oh, okay. 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 So that can be very, very helpful. Oh, and, and uh, Joe Cool here, 33 on Periscope says, yes, go to your app settings. You can clear your cookies there. Nice. You definitely got to do that to make sure that you're getting the best prices and also just to see what else is out there. So thanks so much, Joe Cool, for being here. And I want to welcome everyone who's just joining us here on Facebook Live, uh, here on Periscope, YouTube Live, on Snapchat. And we just have Rod Griffin, who's our director of public education. Education, Rod, what is going on? I'm running around like crazy. A great day. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those days. Yeah. Couldn't get the right URL typed in. Had to email it to myself and copy and paste it. No, just <laughs> just got back from doing some volunteer help with a local charity and sorting gifts for families and and and, pre and toys and things. So, really okay. wonderful experience. So a group of us from Experian went down. And then drove back and hit traffic and couldn't get logged in and all of the wonderful tech stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you I'm glad you made it. And uh, and Rod, just so you know, we are chatting with Jalisa Ann, and she is the founder of MyMoneyMobile.com. And today we're all talking about last minute holiday shopping tips. And uh, we're we have our Periscope community watching. We have our YouTube live. Obviously, we're on YouTube Live and also Facebook Live. So grateful to have Jalisa here. So let's get started with the discussion. And the first question we were asking our credit check community on Twitter was, OK, let's let's be serious. Let's be honest. Have you finished all of your holiday shopping? I want to hear it. Pure honesty here. Jalisa, are you done? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I, man, I'm ashamed to say that. But it's OK, because I started late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay, so you're not done yet. Are they? Are are you? Um, do you need little things to get, or do you still have some big items to get? Little things. Um, I just got married in February, so this is the oh. first year that I'm actually spending Christmas with my husband's family. Oh wow! Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So, um, little side note: I kind of procrastinated on my family because I'm going to see them after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so this is the okay. So, congratulations on your recent marriage. And are you are you more nervous this Christmas holiday season because you're going to be with the in laws? Uh, no, I'm I'm not I'm not more nervous. I spent the day after Christmas with them. Normally, I spend Christmas with my family and then I go see them afterwards. So yeah. I think it's it'll, it'll be kind of the same, just yeah. Different. That's cool. Okay, so you are. You're almost done shopping. You just have a few little last minute things to pick up. Yes. And, and are, are are there any like favorite stores you like to go to for those kind of last minute items? So I actually don't like to go to the store at all. Oh, you don't like doing store at all? <laughs> it's crowded. Um, if I can avoid it at all costs, I will. So I'm a big online shopper. I think it's easier to compare prices, search for um, coupon codes, free shipping. I mean, you can't beat it. It comes right to your door. Yeah. Okay. Now you said something that is key: coupon codes. Some people are listening, going, "What are coupon codes? Where do I find them? Where do you go to get them? And how do they work?" Well, I actually normally just Google them. Okay. And what what pops up? Because the, typically, and I'll put the month and the year. Uh, because sometimes codes will pop up from like last year, twenty or December twenty fifteen. So you want to make sure that they're still um, accurate and still active. And a lot of different sites pop up. They'll tell you uh, if people recently used it and if it actually worked. OK. So when you're searching on Google, you'll type in, are you typing in the store name and then like a month or year and then a coupon? Like yes. what's your, your, I'm just curious like what your query is. 
So I put in the store that I'm shopping at. So if it's like Sephora, I'll put in yeah. Sephora December 2016 coupon code. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And how, and how, um, how do you, how do you say like on average, like how successful are you in getting a, a coupon? Probably 90%. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. 90%. Okay. I need to, I'm learning something here. I'm taking this down. Yeah. I just wrote it down. <laughs> That's really, really good. So, yeah. um, yeah. Cause, cause makeup can be really pricey. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's really good. Coupon codes, I like that. Um, so you pretty much, you don't even go to the stores. You do everything online. I do, yes. And are you, like, what percentage of it is, like, Amazon.com, and then what percentage of it is, like, the actual retail store, would you say? I would probably say, with last-minute shopping, probably 75% to 80% is on Amazon because they have that same day shipping, two day shipping, one day yeah. shipping. Um, and it just comes so fast. So most of it is on Amazon, but I love to compare prices and make sure that I'm getting the best deal. Yeah, okay. Very, very cool. I had um, a couple years ago discovered this site, which you may have heard of already called camel, camel, camel com. Have you heard of that site? I've heard about it, but I've never used it. Okay, so depending on your level of like, like uh, stress when buying things, like Camel 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 like shows you like the ups and the downs of what a, a item is cost on Amazon. So it gives you, it's almost like looking at a stock market, like the ups and the downs. So sometimes you can feel mad, like I bought it for this price and I, <laughs> it was at this price at one point. So depending on how you feel about that kind of stuff, but it's a good like way to kind of estimate like what a good price is. On Amazon, but you just—I mean—you never know, because you know Amazon sometimes raises the price around, you know, closer to Christmas time right. or different holidays, right? So you just never know. But those are really good tips. If you're comparing it to stores, like I'll—I'll I'll check to see where the price is at Target, you know, Walmart, Best Buy, depending on what I'm looking at, and kind of see what, which you know, if Amazon is competitive or not. Yeah. And sometimes they're not, and sometimes they are. Yeah. And I, and I appreciate like all the reviews too on Amazon. Like you can read the reviews, right? Those help out so much. <laughs> yeah. Cause you can get like, my wife's like, did you read the reviews? How many <laughs> reviews did you read? I'm like, it's a good item. How many reviews did you read? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But do you sometimes read the reviews and then ignore them because you don't want to want to know what they're saying? Cause you exactly. really want it. Right. So, yeah, they're just, they're just, yeah. Want, there's always somebody who hates. I want that thing. It's gotta be good. They're all wrong. <laughs> Sadly, they're usually not, and that's it's like, exactly. hard. I got it, and they were right. Yeah. <laughs> I went a little crazy yesterday. I didn't buy anything, but I went a little cart crazy on Amazon, putting a bunch of stuff in the cart, and then told my wife, "Can you review these items?" And then I'm still waiting to hear back. <laughs> <laughs> I like putting oh, things. <laughs> I like putting things in carts. And then hope, hoping and praying that it actually gets approved. Well, I do, yeah, 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 the approver, yeah. I do the wish list thing too on some sites, you know, for, for hobbies and things. If they're things yeah. I'm buying parts for and they have the wish list, so I make that wish list and then it sets forever because, yeah. You know. But it's fun to go back and look once in a while and go, maybe someday I'll have that. <laughs> I, I, I skip the wish list entirely. I go straight to the cart. No, no, I don't do that because <laughs> I'll hit the wrong button and then it'll come and oh. I'll go, oh, what did I do wrong? I yeah. do the cart too. My cooker. Yeah. I have carts on lots of sites right now. I like to just see Seriously. like what would the damage be. <laughs> and I sticker shock and I quickly close the window. <laughs> no. So so Shannon, so um, oh okay so Shannon uh, and Rod um I'll start with you Shannon. Uh, are you done with holiday shopping? Well, I am done with Christmas shopping. But I still have to do Hanukkah shopping, but technically because of the beautiful eight days I have a little bit longer, so I'm kind of doing the same thing you are. <laughs> like, wait to see which family I'll see first. Um, so I started and finished Christmas shopping yesterday. Okay. Um, started yeah, and I, finished? I did, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, we caught that? Wow, okay. But I did all online too. I actually, I took a walk to a store that I love um, to get some ideas. And then I went 
to their website and they have a lot more on their website. So I actually, I always go to see if there's like a gifts for under $20 or some kind of like just pre-made sets. Yeah. Um, so nothing in the store was really like that, but I was able to find a few sets and that way I don't have to pay for shipping because I'm just like sending it. I'm not, it's not like I have to bring things home and then take them to the post office because a lot of people I know are out of town. And so I did that. And then I also did a lot on Etsy actually. I like doing Etsy because you can do something that feels a little special and the prices aren't out of control. So, but I mean, they can be though, you know, so like I'm more likely to spend a little less on people, but then go on Etsy and get something that seems a little more like just for them and that they maybe wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Etsy is a really cool site. Really cool. That's awesome. Etsy. Yeah. So are so there, are there, um, so Shannon, I'm not sure about Etsy. Are there coupon codes for Etsy or is it straight up? You just buy directly from the person at the price they set. You know, well, I'm not as smart as some other people on this chat, which is why I went to Sephora the other day and totally didn't know you could get coupons <laughs> for them. Now I'm really mad, but um, I've never looked actually, because like, yeah, I guess the prices I always find to be like so reasonable, but like, maybe I don't know. I guess I should Google it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, never I think I think Sephora's come up so much. I think we need to have a chat dedicated <laughs> to Sephora. And maybe I'm, Christina. And I'll be happy to take the reins on that chat. Laura <laughs> <laughs> and I are good friends slash friend of me, I think, in real life. Oh, uh, One Loud Radio says just use code 18 off. I guess, does that work? Is that for uh, Sephora, One Loud Radio? 18% off? 18. Or just it's like 18, that normally what people do. 18 off. Hmm. Hey, what's up? It's Jordan243. We're just having a chat about last minute shopping tips. And we're just going around talking about who's done, who still has more to do. Rod, are you done? I am done unless something happens that requires something else. I, I don't think it will. Um, <laughs> no, I got all the rest of the, the lumber and the parts and finished my wife's second Christmas village tree. Oh, wow. And, um, so we've, my middle daughter, we get a, you know, those Christmas village things. Yeah. And little shrimp. We've get collected those for 18, 19 years, something like that. And we had no place to display them. And so thanks to Pinterest, I got a project because my wife found these trees <laughs> and said, this is what I want. And I said, okay. So I did, yeah. So I did the construction project and then we were at Hallmark and my wife said she wanted a certain ornament. So I picked it up and gave it to her and she walked to the counter and I paid for it. And then we got home and I was done. And I said, where'd it go? And she said, I wrapped it already. So she did all the work. <laughs> so it's, I'm done, yeah, as far I as I know. I think you need to tweet some pictures of all these things you're building. I know. I, I can, I I'm trying to figure out. Let me see if I can. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see that. All right, so uh, Jalisa, so you are, um, you still have a few more things to do. You are primarily, you're kind of like me, online shopping only. Mm -hmm. It just reduces the stress of the crowds. You can do all your research, and you can get it done pretty quickly. Like I love that Shannon said she started and finished her shopping <laughs> yesterday. Like that I'm was insane. awesome. I did not mess around. <laughs> that's that's super awesome. <laughs> but I still have to write all the Christmas cards, you guys. Like oh yeah yeah. That part that's gonna hurt a little more. That's, that's time consuming, especially when they're when you have to be when you're trying to be thoughtful. Especially when your handwriting looks like a small child. And I have a weak hand. Like my hand is so weak that I just, I can't, you know, after like a few sentences, I'm so used to typing. Yeah. My hand starts hurting. It's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> no one can read my handwriting. So like yeah, I have to go really slow to make it even remotely legible. People joke that I write in another language. Cause it's <laughs> you're like a hobbit. You're like yeah. a hobbit. I think I have that same issue because I do not have good handwriting at all. <laughs> so I won't gloat about being finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, for everyone who's just joining us here on Periscope, I just noticed a lot of people just jumped on. Thank you guys for your hearts. Thank you for your shares. If you feel that this conversation around last minute holiday shopping tips will be valuable, please share this out with your followers. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit now about advice for those who are just getting started so Jalisa, there are definitely th those that are watching on, you know, watching here that are just getting started with their holiday shopping. Can you maybe just share some tips for those who are uh, tuning in and just need some help and some guidance on 
okay, I've been stressed out, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to do my shopping. What advice do you have for those that are just getting started? That's weird. Um, I definitely, my biggest advice would be just to remember that, you know, Christmas is supposed to be about spending time with your family and enjoying those that you love. So at any moment when you're feeling like super stressed out, it's just a good moment to just take a breath and just get back to what this season actually means. Um, but also, of course, you still have time to do your two day shipping on Amazon and it's still plenty of time to just shop regular online and get those packages shipped straight to your door. So don't feel like you have to f have so much pressure, you know, don't feel overwhelmed. And you that like, do you have advice for, I mean, some of the pressure I think for shopping is just like, what do I get that person? Mm -hmm. And I know like, so I'll tell you like, for example, me and my wife are very different. Like I'm like, oh, let's just get that. Like that's good enough. Like I, I think that's a cool gift. My wife is more thoughtful. She's thinking about it. Like, mm, I'm not sure that's really the right gift for them. And she, can, my wife can get really, really stressed out about the gift giving, mm -hmm. getting the right type of gift. What advice do you have for those who are stressed out about that aspect, about how do I choose the right gift? Well, I know that it's, you know, easy to, you, you want it to be a surprise. You want them to kind of be surprised when you give them the gift. But honestly, like just asking, having a conversation. Sometimes it's a lot easier earlier on in the year, you know, earlier in November saying, hey, you know, what do you want Santa to bring you? Those types of things. Um, but also looking into someone's personality. Like for me, I really love books. I really love journals. So anything like that that's an excellent gift for me. Whereas my husband, he's like a techie, so he likes anything electronic, you know? Um, so catering it to someone's personality. I like that, I like that. Shannon, do yeah, you have any tips on that? Yeah, I try to, um, I, just, I just hit this the other day because, well, yesterday, because um, my <laughs> high school girlfriends and I do a Secret Santa and I realized, you know, I don't get to see them that much because I live away now. And so I was like, what can I get? I don't even remember what this girl really is interested in to that level anymore. And, but I remembered she just recently bought a condo and in a specific neighborhood that is starting to get a lot of like hometown pride. So I went on Etsy and I found um, a little like letterpress drawing of a map of that neighborhood. And so I tried to focus on what's like something in their life that year that maybe they're really excited about. Like maybe they hit a milestone or something like that that you could give them to celebrate because that way, I mean, it's hard because you still have to match their taste. Like for all I know, she might think letterpress is stupid, but hopefully not. Um, but yeah, so trying to like, yes, their personality, but also like did something really cool happen because then, you know, you're not just giving them a gift that is specialized. You're kind of celebrating their life a little bit more. So I like that. Do you think there's value in like checking out their, maybe their social profiles, like, what they've shared out on Instagram. Or I was, yeah, I totally was going on Facebook and being like, okay, which sports teams does she like? And like all these different things to try to remember. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we never know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm and horrible. asking those around them too. Sometimes, you, um, you know, I'll go to uh, my mom's sister and say, hey, you know what she wants? Did she mention anything, you know, that I maybe didn't think about? Oh, and I always tell my husband to check out my Pinterest page. <laughs> See, that's the trick. Husbands yeah. need help, and that there's no question about that. I have so many suggestions on Pinterest. He I've, so many. Uh, <laughs> I gave up trying to surprise my wife like decades ago. So it's like, no. I used to try really hard, and I still think she opened the presents and and looked because she would always always no. I I bought a teddy bear and a, a like a gold and diamond necklace. And yeah, put the necklace on the teddy bear and stuffed oh. it in the box, and packed it all up, and she shook the box and went, "It's a teddy bear with a gold necklace." And I'm like, "There's no what? way you know that." <laughs> oh and if I ever, and I told her, if I ever catch you opening that package and looking, you're not getting another thing from me ever. <laughs> and I've never caught her, so I'm like, "You cannot possibly know that." <laughs> like, that's not right. So I, I gave up. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "That's funny." Jaleesa, do you have advice for the for those uh, family members or friends that maybe are just it's just impossible? Like maybe 
they're just it's just difficult for them a gift because they're very very specific about things that they like like I'll tell you that right now um, for the last 10 years my wife has returned <laughs> all my gifts because, because, well because she's so frugal mm -hmm. she's so frugal and she feels like don't she'd rather the money spent on be spent on the kids not on her and so I go out and it's almost like a joke every <laughs> year I'll go out and I'll get a favorite bag that I think she would like and even jewelry and things I know she would appreciate I know her style but she is guaranteed to just you know she'll return it and say like oh I'll get something else sweetie later on in the year she never does um, I'm just curious like for those hard to hard difficult people it's me is, yeah, for, for, I, for that's me for it's not all my family says you're impossible to buy things for and it's just it's like, well Oh, yeah. I don't want anything. I don't need anything, you know. Yeah. And if if there's something I really need, it's, I need it like right now, so I go get it. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, like there's those hobby websites you're checking out. Yeah. No, that's my wife, and then she comes back with the ideas. I have to figure out how to do them. That's <laughs> those came, those came out really. I'm honestly, I'm I'm like gloating over those. Those came out really well. So, <laughs> so I shocked myself. Pictures. So it's like, <laughs> well, I would definitely say those difficult people. Like, I like to give people an experience sometimes. So not just a gift, but like, if you have a couple who has young children and maybe they, you know, can't, um, you know, get out for a date night, do like a basket with like a little coupon that says like free babysitting, you know, from me, um, um, which I'm sure they would find valuable, and maybe do like. A, a romantic comedy that they would enjoy, maybe a bottle of wine or some movies or, or um, popcorn or something that's fun that's more of like, hey, this is your date night, mm. uh, mommy daddy's night in, something that's like that. Idea. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. I think experiences are good too for the person that literally has everything. Like you couldn't think of something. I mean, that's my husband and I stopped doing gifts for each other for shared holidays. So we'll do like birthday gifts, but that's it. And I'm just like grateful because I literally. He, he has anything he could possibly want or need. And so like, but yeah, experiences are great because they're special. And homemade gifts too. Uh, when my husband and I were planning for our wedding, which was last year, we, we didn't want to buy each other expensive gifts or anything like that. So we did homemade gifts, which was, you have to be very, very creative. Um, mm -hmm. And I was really shocked at how, how much thought and effort he put into it. So that really meant a lot to me. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really cute. My my son, um, he's eight, and so in his class they did uh, they made like little coupons basically for their family members. So because Sam didn't want to wait for Christmas, so he was like, "Dad, open up your gift now." <laughs> and so I was like, "It's his school gift." I go, "Okay," and I opened it up, and it was like uh, a packet full of coupons and things that he promised to do. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know, and he's eight, and so the funny <laughs> some of the coupons were like. That he was going to, uh, you know, do the dishes, and, and it was really, really cute. The things that he wanted to help with, and so I thought that was really special. That the coupons, yeah, very special, special and thoughtful. Yeah, it was. I got to chuckle out of some of them. <laughs> I also think so, um, people really like their names too. So things that are like engraved or, in, you know, um, wine glasses with their names on it. Things like that. Uh, I love getting things with my name on it. I don't think I'm alone in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, one of the questions that we have right now in our Twitter chat, and for those that are watching here live, we're also on Twitter with the crap uh, with the hashtag Credit Chat. And one of the questions going out is around budgeting mistakes to avoid during last minute shopping, or things we should avoid doing when last minute shopping and. Julie, so just kind of curious, like what advice would you have for those who are just hitting the stores now or just shopping online? Common mistakes that are really easy to make that can impact our budget. Um, definitely, if you're going to the stores, one of my biggest tips would be uh, make sure that you eat before you go. Um, because whenever you're hungry, it's a lot harder to make sound decisions because your stomach's growling at you and you're just going oh to the store. Or you're grabbing snacks and candy and, and things that you didn't plan on buying. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So that would be my tip if you're going to the store. Uh, if you're shopping online, definitely, uh, like I was saying earlier, check for free shipping coupons because you can be right within your budget and then shipping will take you over. Yes, that's so true. And it's so funny, uh, that manual, uh, that manual, Manuel M on Periscope was like, yep, yep, I'm definitely going to the stores full. That can definitely help. Man, you smell that Cinnabon? Yep. You know what I mean? It's just asking for trouble. We're going to spend more money. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it, you know what? It's crazy. I was at Walmart yes, um, two days ago. They have a Cinnabon vending machine now. Vending machine? Yes. And it like, totally like puts it together, warms it up, and delivers it to you. And I was like, no, this can't oh, be happening. God. I'm trying to be so good. And now there's a Cinnabon vending machine that's just there and warm and everything right after you like have your change in your hand at walmart it's the vending machine there <laughs> brilliant <laughs> tell you they're not the world's largest retailer for nothing yeah, yeah. yeah. true they oh yeah that, now mm -hmm. that manuel just said yeah the hot dog on a stick never looks so good when you're shopping <laughs> <laughs> right Oh my gosh, that is so funny. See, I still remember when I was a kid, we used to have to, <laughs> right after, it was Black Friday, I have horror nightmares of going to JCPenney Outlet. Yeah. With my mom and my grandma, and I had to go, and I got dragged along. Not that there was a problem with JCPenney Outlet, but it was just like people and crowded, but they had popcorn. It's like you remember the food, and I remember the smell, and I remember, yeah. you know, the, and it was like you get the popcorn and an icy. <laughs> That's right. That's in right. Kansas, when it was oh. twenty below and snow on the ground, but it was you know you're a kid. Yeah, you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, I have, my my kids are penguins. They love having like cold things on a cold day. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, but you I'm live like, in California, so that doesn't really. Yeah, I know. Like, how are we really talking like, here? Like you know, in a cold <laughs> day, it's seventy five, so we're chilly. We're gonna have an icy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Jill, uh. Jill, Della, so where are you? Where are you at? What area? I'm in Dallas. Oh, you're in oh, Dallas. Where, where, so yeah. am I. Where are you? In I'm, Dallas proper? Yes, I'm actually in Dallas, near Lovefield. Okay. Cool. I'm in, I'm near Wiley, so. Oh, very nice. It's so close. It's been a little chilly here, but definitely not 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 anything like the Midwest. It's going yeah. to be this weekend, though. It's supposed to be highs in the low 30s. Guys, it's going to be 12 degrees in New York tomorrow. So you can complain. You have every right to complain. My but I'm still going to buy an iced coffee because it goes to the brain quicker. So. Well, there's that. <laughs> Cold caffeine is the best caffeine. It is the best. Yeah. My friends in, in, in Kansas and family, it was seven degrees for a high there. Oh. Are you serious? Uh, yes. That is oh, inhumane. Two degrees for the low. So they had a whole five degree swing warm up during the day. Oh, oh it's awful. brutal. It's brutal. So you might as well eat that Cinnabon. Yep. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Oh, it I'm is, sure. right? You know, they went or out and, you know, they're shopping. And the Cinnabon yeah. warms your whole body. It warms Duh. your belly. Mm -hmm. you know, it makes you feel good. A little happiness. It, a little it little makes happiness. you great joy. It yes, it does. It doesn't <laughs> cost so much money for happiness. <laughs> Guys, my grandma used to make cinnamon buns on Christmas, but she wouldn't pour the icing on the cinnamon buns until we got to the house. So oh, literally, yeah. she'd pull the pan out and then she'd pour the icing over oh, it, and then you got the pan on, and it was like the best thing ever. So good, and the they were the size of like your face. Like she made some yeah. cinnamon buns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know those yeah. holiday treats. I know. I know we're all hungry over here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like, what happened? What were we talking about? I completely forgot. I don't know. I have no idea what this chat's about anymore. Just holiday it. dieting. It's a little. Yeah. Oh my god. Word. I will it say. I will say the other thing that gets me at the end of shopping that I always forget about is cards and gift wrap. So you can be like perfectly on budget, yeah. and then you're like, oh, I just need some gift wrap and a few cards and some tape, and the next thing you know, it's like sixty dollars or forty dollars later. Oh yeah. So like I literally spent a fortune on Christmas cards yesterday. I didn't even think about budgeting for them because I'm like, I'll just get a box. And I didn't think about like how many I needed, getting all the stamps, getting all these things. So like that's definitely something to budget for. Yeah. And uh, holiday meals. 
So if you're hosting, you know, oh, yeah. at your house, you have to think about, or if you're taking a dish to someone else's house, sometimes we don't take into consideration, you know, we have to buy the ingredients. We have to, um, the ingredients you probably don't have, right? Because how often are you making like yam and whatever weird stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I, I laughed at my my neighbor at, on Thanksgiving Day. I was out putting <clears throat> Christmas lights up in the afternoon, and, and before they before we ate, and poor Roy came out like four times to go to the store. <laughs> it was like oh, we no. forgot this, we forgot that. And he, it was like he yeah, came back with ice. I was laughing. I was like, yeah, see, that's the whole list and the planning and the things we don't think of. So, yeah. yeah. But, uh, Christine over here has a tip. Cause, Cause she, she has lots of parties. Okay guys, just really quickly. This is actually for Shannon's. So I went to the dollar store yesterday, Dollar Tree, and they have gift boxes that are already decorated. So you don't even have to wrap them. You could literally Ooh. tie a bow around them oh for like, super and then also I like to buy the huge roll of craft paper, like the huge roll for like $7 from Amazon. And then you can just put a really pretty bow around it, and it just looks really elegant and simple. Oh, what's so, the craft paper? It's the brown craft paper. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But if you, yeah, with a ribbon and stuff, that could be really cute. We yeah. And then, so, like, Joanne's has the ribbon, like, 70% off. So you can go get cheap ribbon, cheap paper, and it looks really nice, like, when it's all put together. Now I just need someone to teach me how to wrap. <laughs> <laughs> We, I, I am the worst rapper. I'm kind of proud about it because my, my <laughs> gifts look so sad. <laughs> and I actually use newspaper. That's how frugal I am. I, I get oh. I, get, I get newspaper I'm like actually... the comic book section, and I just what? and I'm kind of proud because I kind of just like wrap it and it looks all messed up. But to me, that makes it special because. <laughs> <it's so sad. laughs> You know, I thought it was all about it. it looks so nice and neat, and you took the time no, and the care no, to make it look. I can't, pull, I can't wrap your it. your favorite well. comic. So it's I, I like peanuts comics. Yeah. So I'm just gonna you know put the box in there and wrap things and and it's I'm so, not. You're in it's trouble. Quick and easy. It just it looks like a mess, but you'll know who it's from. There you, there you go. <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought I was really funny, and I started wrapping all of my grandparents' gifts in duct tape. Oh, you did oh, not. No. <laughs> Newspaper and duct tape. I was like, ha, 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 I'm so hilarious. And they were like, oh, we're going to get you back for that. <laughs> <laughs> we actually recycle wrapping. So uh, oh. not the paper so much, but the ribbons, the boxes, yeah, um, the bags, you know, the gift bags and oh, the yeah, tissue. Bags. Um, so we, I brought down like four big tub things of recycled wrapping materials. But out of our attic but it's um we we get we somebody at one point got an iron like a clothes iron in our yeah. family yeah. we've given something in that box for the last 10 years <laughs> i think so it's a kind of a running joke everybody opens who gets the iron this year that's great <laughs> so it's like, yeah. uh, and then what's going to be in the box because there's never an iron anymore hey that's good for the environment too so uh, yeah that is that's great yeah i, I love the bag idea because that's nice and easy um, I've actually given gifts in like a Target bag. That's how cheap I am. Just kind of cheap. <laughs> You're not making um, any points. That's how my gifts are. Hey, hold on. I recall from a previous credit chat that you, your every Secret Santa at work, you're always guest, right? Perhaps you're wrapping and have something. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Who it's from. Now yeah, they definitely do. I don't wrap anything this time. I just kind of dropped off the things and ran. Oh, that's not the one you like chucked across the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've thrown things over cubicles. I get so nervous. I get so nervous and anxious about Secret Santa. I don't want to be discovered. And so I don't want to leave any clues behind. Because if it's messed up, they'll know it's me. So I just kind of drop off the items and run. And then that's how I try to stay away from being caught. We're going to see what happens. I was a good Santa this year. I was a good Santa. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what my guess. <laughs> I, I think I've been a good Santa. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, this has been a really good discussion. I like this. Talking about food. <laughs> talking about <laughs> We're changing the credit chat topic to food, I think. Okay. Um, okay. So, so uh, let's talk about, um, let's see. Okay, so we're talking about some of those things like, Shannon, you were mentioning those things that we often forget about, like the cards, 
the gift wrapping paper. Christina gave some good examples of ways to save money on getting boxes at the dollar store, getting the big rolls of paper through Amazon. Um, are there any other things that we should be thinking about that we need to buy? Because you also mentioned stamps for cards. Uh, shipping costs. Right. That, that could be something, right? If if uh, you don't have Amazon Prime or that wherever you're shipping it from requires you to pay extra money, that could definitely be an extra Or if you're week. actually shipping and you have to go to the post office, then you have the cost oh, and time. Yeah. The stress of that. The yeah. line. The work. <laughs> I was, it always, it's always funny to me that you see that get free shipping and you get there, you have to spend a hundred dollars first <laughs> and I need like a nine ninety five thing. You know, it's a nine dollars 95 cents. I don't need to spend another $90 <laughs> to get my free shipping, but then the shipping's 30 bucks. So, it, you know, so yeah. I can buy something else. I don't. Yeah. That's pretty rough. Yeah. Shipping uh, can definitely add up. Yeah. Totally. So Jalisa, t tell me about, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys, Jalisa, what do you think about re-gifting? Regifting. I'm a fan of regifting because I feel like if it's from the heart and you know that it's something that I would really enjoy, then I'm okay with you saving saving a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. As long as it's thoughtful and it's not just something you didn't want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's hard. If it's something, if it's something you didn't want, I want it. Well, then I want. That's okay. <laughs> Well, that puts a kink into things, doesn't yeah. it? That's the only thing I want. <laughs> no, we, I'm making the, our, our Christmas video, and I had forgotten. Every, last year, we got these little case things that we really don't know what they were, and, every, and but my wife got them for like a dollar. So there's these little, oh. they unzip, and they we, we don't know what they were cases for exactly, but everybody got one. We got one. I got one. Oh. And they will all be gifted this year because nobody knows what they were for. And that was sort of <laughs> the running. Large. They were like a square thing, and they were like a travel case. But we don't know if they were for like a, with an iPod. <laughs> we had, it was a, a challenge this year. Everybody's supposed to show up with what they did with their case, <laughs> and what they think it's for. That's funny. So, it's That's like, funny. so they'll all be regifted, but they're different colors, and so. <laughs> <laughs> I like around like they're already going to be regifted. Yeah, oh yeah, they're gonna be. Yeah, because you're like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Yeah, we have no they're idea what this is. Maybe somebody else can figure it out. We'll get that. <laughs> Shannon, what are your thoughts on regifting? Um, I'm trying to remember if I've ever done it. Actually, it's really funny. I just got my Secret Santa from my high school girlfriend today, and um, I saw on the packaging that it was clearly like a sample. Like one of the things was it clearly a sample that she had been sent. I'm like, huh, because it said like, you know, for your birthday or something on it. And I was like, but you know what? I mean, I really like it. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like it didn't really bother me. And like it's, I mean, she, it, everything was still thoughtfully put together and matched my style perfectly. So why not? Yeah, I guess like Julie said, yeah, if you get to save money, sure. then more power to you. Yeah. So, but I don't know if I've ever done it, um, but I have had awkward occasions where I've, anytime I'm tired of jewelry or clothing or anything, I give it to my mom. And I've had gifts that were given to me that I gave to my mom that she then would show up at places where the person who gave it to me were also. <laughs> so now we have to do like a picture before she comes and be like, are any of these things given to you by these people? <laughs> yeah, because that was, that was definitely a very awkward moment. I'm like, so those earrings, that scarf, oh no. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that, I've, I've had gifts that were gift, given to me, re-gifted to me, so. <laughs> And I was still excited because I had forgotten I had gotten it. So it's <laughs> like, I'm easy. I can go with, I go with my wife and go with my family and they buy me things and they I say, I like it. And three weeks later, I'm thrilled because I forgot that they got it. So <laughs> I'm easy, you know, awesome. but yeah, I got an ornament twice, two years in a row, same one, two years in a row. They re bought my wife, re wrapped it. And everybody else caught it. Did she pull it off the tree? She put it back in the box. I don't know. I must have. And it rewrapped it and I unwrapped it. Oh, this is so cool. And everybody started laughing. I <laughs> think Dory that doesn't look familiar to you at all. And it went mm, kind of for some reason. But yeah, it's a year later. How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> but uh, Jalisa, I want to ask you about okay, so we talked about like buying gifts at stores. You talked about and gave a lot of tips about getting coupon codes and shopping online. It reduces stress. 
you can get uh, really better deals by researching online. Uh, what about ways to save money by like creating your own gifts? And do you have any tips for that? Whether it's uh, doing a craft or making food, do you have any tips around uh, making your own gifts? Absolutely. So in this scenario, Pinterest is your best friend <laughs> um, because the the step by step guides to making your own gifts on there are just priceless. Mm. Um, but also, I enjoy giving uh, photos. Uh, so if we, I've taken photos with a particular individual, I will get them printed either maybe on a canvas or they do those wood photos now. Uh, and maybe do a customized picture frame, and it's not an expensive gift, but it's very thoughtful. Cute. I like that. Mm -hmm. are, are there any um, favorite Pinterest boards you like to go to, or you just? I'm just curious, like what you search for. Uh, I a DIY gifts is what I search okay. for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Shannon, do you do any sort of? Well, I know you like to hand. Obviously, you like handmade stuff. You buy through Etsy. Do you make yeah. anything yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am not gifted in that sense. In fact, there's even one my my husband's been requesting since we were to, since we first started dating almost to write our story because his memory is about oh. as good as Rod's on Christmas. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. And um, I I can't bring myself to do it. And I know like any any holiday any event that'd be the best gift to give him. But it's just like you know normally I would say yeah use your talents and like make a gift. But I'm like no I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> writing is writing is hard. I think because we all do it. It's kind of the same thing. It's, it's hard to write about yourself too. And yeah, like and and it's, if you do it for work, it's hard to do it. Yeah, for for, for fun. Not for fun, but it yeah outside for not work. <laughs> yeah, for not work. You could speak yeah. it and have it transcribed though. No, see, this is what I, okay, guys, I have yeah. what I would do in my mind yeah. if I could make all these gifts. And one of them I thought, like, it'd be cool if I could make, like, a letterpress style, like, map or some kind of, like, little thing with little triggers of all these cool memories we have. And I always want to do things like that for people. But oh. the reality is I should never, ever try to make anything. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea if you're skilled enough to do it. <laughs> see, I'm kind of, I can't think of things to make, but if somebody could show me what they want to make, I can usually do it. That's awesome. So it's kind of the other way around. But you got to get so many interest. Well, that's what my wife does, and that's I don't like it. <laughs> I'm kind of not sure how I feel about Pinterest because it gives her lots of ideas to give me work to do. A little too so, helpful. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too helpful. But, no, there are so many cool things. Another thing that well, in my family, I have a daughter is really creative that way too, and her husband had taken a, a years ago a motorcycle trip with his dad and his grandfather, and I think his great grandfather. Oh, and wow. they had a, it was a burlap sack with, I don't know if you're familiar with the burlap sacks are, mm -hmm. with the name of the store, they'd stopped at a country store or something, and he had this sack left. And she had it put in a, a frame and shadow box and gave it to him, he had just kept it. And it brought back memories, best thing, I mean, you know, it was a simple thing to do but really, really cool. And for him, it's such a, you know, it's an, a very emotional thing. And so you know, it was very touching and, and really, really nice, really, really simple. And no cost, really, you know. They can't beat that. Yeah. So stuff like that. Yeah. Battle boxes are a great idea. I've, I've had friends who have done like, you know, first date movie tickets in the shadow box with pictures <laughs> and little trinkets that mean a lot it's a great idea so when you, know, you guys say you. Box, i don't even know what a shadow box is <laughs> it's like a deep it's like a deep frame yeah okay it's like you put, it's a, yeah so it's don't know where the shadow part comes in okay. so lisa is a new is a newlywed i've heard a lot of people talk about doing like their wedding invitations and maybe one of the flowers from the bouquet and stuff like that too Yes, I have heard that. I didn't save any of that stuff. Bob, <laughs> 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 bouquet, everything. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my wife got rid of everything. I, think I got rid of it all too. I think yeah. I had the idea to make that, and I just didn't see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think my sister-in-law kept things that we were like, ah, we're okay. We're, we don't need that anymore. Yeah. Uh, my my wife. Uh, we have a relative. She she gave her wedding dress to a relative who made took her wedding dress 
and made um, for babies. What do they call it? It's just beautiful. Um, like the christening? Gown. Like the christening gowns. Yeah, that kind of thing out of it. So wow. and you could donate them and give them as gifts. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. That's really cool. So. Well, well, um, this hour has been flying by. Before we, we end, uh, I want to make sure that Delisa can share a little bit more about the work that she does, promote her website before we go to the very last question. So Jalisa, can you share it with everyone about MyMoneyMogul.com and where what people can learn there? Yes, uh, so MyMoneyMogul.com, I have a blog uh, where I do share money and personal finance tips. And I also have digital courses on credit, uh, budgeting, how not to stress about money, all things money related. Awesome. Make sure to check out MyMoneyMogul.com. We'll make sure in the about section of this YouTube video, we'll put a link there so you can learn more about uh, Jalisa and MyMoneyMogul.com. We'll also put it on our credit chat page um, so you can learn more there. Uh, so the very last question I want to ask you guys is just for last minute shoppers, um, any final tips, Jalisa, and then we'll go to Rod and then Shannon, any just final tips for them as they head out? or surf <laughs> um just you know again try not to get too stressed out uh, just take a deep breath and remember what this season is all about and as long as your gift is given with love no matter how they receive it <laughs> it was given in the right fashion nice rod repeat the question okay, okay. <laughs> i just thought they had and i got lost <laughs> Rod, any any just last minute tips? Oh, last minute, the last minute tip thing. Uh, yeah. you know, what, I was, what I was tweeting was if if you haven't finished shopping, <laughs> like, I only do one thing at a time. Rod, what are you tweeting? <laughs> uh, that's the question I was answering. Make a plan of attack. Make it like an assault. Make a list. Sit down, plan first. Make a list of what you're trying to get, who it needs to be for, where you're going to get it, whether it's online or in a store, and then. Set your time and launch the assault. I mean, you know, make it a mission, not not a. I'm gonna go wander around. Oh, it's an assault. I love it's that. An assault on the stores. I mean, and make it <laughs> goal based, and don't let yourself get distracted. I mean that, you know, it's so. That's my approach to shopping generally. I need to go where I'm gonna go, get what I'm gonna get, and leave. And leave. Yeah, you're good, Shannon. Uh, for me, if I can't think of anything at a standard store, um, I will go to places that I know I can't afford to get ideas because usually you can find like more creative or like different types of things. And then I'll go online and Google similar items and then find one in my budget. So that was how I stumbled on the letterpress idea was because I was at a store that I definitely can't afford and went home. But like it gave me the inspiration I needed to go home and find a gift that I'm actually like very happy to have given. So like. Go, you can go outside of your range for inspiration and then, you, can, you know, online is magical. You can always find something for less. <laughs> Love that. Love that. These are all wonderful tips. I want to thank everyone for being part of today's credit chat as we've been talking about last minute holiday sh shopping tips, ways to save money, and also Cinnabons. This has been <laughs> a very fun discussion. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about our guests, you can always go to our credit chat page. You can Google Credit Chat and find our Experian blog there, or you can go to our short URL, which is just ex.pn slash credit chat to learn more about our guests and this topic. It's also the page where this video will be hosted if you join late. I um, want to let everyone know also that we are here doing this live chat here on Periscope, on YouTube Live and Facebook Live every single Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So make sure to join us next Wednesday uh, we're actually going to be talking about side hustles next Wednesday with Sandy Smith. Uh, she is a blogger over at Yes, I Am Cheap. Sandy is awesome. She's always bursting with ideas. And side hustles are actually a good way to make extra money, especially during the holidays when you need some extra money, especially when the January bills come down. So uh, make sure you join us next Wednesday with Sandy Smith. Uh, Jalisa, thank you so much for being our awesome guest. Make sure to check out MyMoneyMogul.com. Follow her there. Read her articles. You can also follow her on Twitter. Uh, she's at, at J-A-L-E-S-A-A-N-N. -N. Make sure you're following Jalisa there on Twitter. We'll also have a link on our credit chat page for you to find her there. Guys, thank you guys so much for a fun uh, discussion today and looking forward to chatting with you guys all next week. 
Thanks, Mike. Take care. Bye, Thanks, Mike. Take care. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, Jalisa. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Rob. Bye, bye.